Whatever drives you, body and soul, train spotters really are modern day martyrs to their faith, publicly persecuted, derided, and scorned until now. The band Blythe Power use music to reflect the passion, devotion, and sheer dedication they feel for trains and the undisputed deity, Diesel. Holy Harmonies has covered the full gamut of religious musical activity Buddhism, Christianity, Scientology, oh, yeah, and of course, the lesser known religion of train spotting. White coon bottom, black and bushes scream In the darkness of the railway cutting The signal cab is clean Is it fair to say that train spotting to you is, is a religion? Not in the sense that I attribute supernatural powers to it, but it's, it's something that's, yeah, it, it's inside me. I was born with it. My, my father and grandfather were railwaymen. And, um, you know, the, the feelings I get from it, um, I don't know. There's nothing else like it. It, it. It's another world that I can go to where people don't bother me. It's the only area in my life where I interact with complete strangers on an impulsive and in instinctive basis. And are you looking to kind of weave those kinds of feelings into your music? There's, there's an atmosphere about the railway which I find um, inspirational. You know, it, it harks back to, um, for me, that the, the railway go goes back into the past of this country to, to a time when um, there was a greater social awareness, you know, where people travelled together on trains rather than separately in little cars. Yeah. Are they, are they train spotters or, or is it a, a whole mix of people? It's a whole mix of people, but we do have um, a lot of train spotters and railway enthusiasts. Some of them prefer to call themselves, although I don't. I mean, I'm out and proud. Now, I know that you have a Bible which you carry around with you all the time, yes. but it's not a Bible with a big B. It's a little silver book with train numbers in it. Can I have a look? That's right, yes. Explain to me, what am I looking at here? That's um, it's, it's a stock list of all the um, rolling stock uh, coaching stock, uh, multiple units, diesel locomotives, currently working on the system. What about the ritualistic element of train spotting? Is that an attraction for you? Uh, to a certain extent, it's nice to belong to a tribe, as it was. I mean, but there are, there are many mansions in our father's house. You know, there are many different kinds of train spotter. I mean, I, f I take photographs, you know. I, I, my idea of the perfect day's train spotting is to be on a bridge somewhere near like, Milford Junction in Yorkshire, photographing the coal trains. Other people, um, their aim is to travel over every piece of track on the system. For you, is it a set of beliefs? Yes, it is. I mean, I believe in the idea of an integrated transport system. I believe in the railway, but at the same time, it's something slightly more spiritual, if you like, than that, because it, it, there's, there's just a, you know, if, I, if I've been away from the railway for a while and, I, and I, just to see railway lines, it gives me this little feeling inside, you know, that it, that's where I belong. Did train spotters go on pilgrimages? Absolutely. The big event this year, it's um, Toten Locomotive Depot in Derbyshire. It's one of the biggest engine sheds in the country, and it's throwing up in its doors and laying on a huge exhibition of rolling stock. But every train spotter in the country will be going there. I'll be back again tonight. So there we